Unless you live and breathe printers, I would imagine it's hard to keep track of what all the letters in a printer model represent. To add to the complexity, many Epson printer models use letters before and after their model numbers. But have no fear, I am here. In this video, I'll help you decode the letters Epson uses in its different printer series. Okay, to solve this, let's start at the beginning. The first letter used in an Epson printer name represents the segment or family it belongs to. And here comes the first caveat. There's a slight difference in SKU or product model and the marketing name. And sometimes this can be a little confusing. Epson uses Sure Color or Sure Lab as the title ahead of the series, which is the reason many of these SKUs start SC or SL. Unless you're searching by part number, this is usually not a part of the printer model name you're most likely familiar with. Now, these letters represent the series of printer and are broken down into segments. P for photo proofing. T for technical graphics or corporate graphics. And on the D series, this is the one segment in our list that is not part of the Sure Color family. It's part of the Sure Lab family. But the D stands for photo dry lab. Then you have S for signage or solvent, R for resin, V for ultraviolet, and F for fabric. Okay, now that we've covered the segments, here's something else I found. Many of the printers follow the same pattern. The pattern used is segment, model number, variation. So let's move into the letters that go at the end of the printer name. We'll start with the P series. For the P series, which remember is Epson's photo proofing series, we have the SE and the CE. SE is standard edition. For the P5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, and 9000, the standard edition comes with a light, light black ink for advanced black and white. SE is also standard edition for the P7570 and 9570, but the light, light black cartridge is gray. Now maybe you see a CE after and not an SE. This means the printer is a commercial edition. This edition is only available for the P7000 and 9000, and this means a violet ink is used in place of the light, light black. Thought we were done? Nope. On the P series, you could have a D, DE, E, or DL at the end. Now D is dual roll with Adobe's embedded print engine and DE is dual role without Adobe's embedded print engine. E is single role without Adobe's embedded print engine. And DL is dual role with Adobe's embedded print engine and 1.6 liter ink packs instead of cartridges. Now that is what the L in DL stands for. Okay, enough about the P series. Let's move on to the D series the Photo Dry Lab series. The new D570 and D1070 don't have too many variations, but I did find one, and that's on the D1070. This is a double-sided option, which comes uh, with a part ending in DE. So the D1070 ending in a DE is double-sided, and that's the only option I found at this time for the D570 and D1070 series. Now onto the R series and S series. R and S, like the D, don't have too many options, but the R and S series have bulk ink options. So if your unit has an L at the end, it signifies the bulk ink is present on your printer. Now in the case of the S series, there's another option you could have, and that's PC, and that is their print and cut edition. These models come with a GraphTech cutter. Similar to the HP Latex printers, the cutter is offline and separate from the printer. And last, we're gonna talk about the F series. F stands for fabric. Now within the F series products, the models that include an H at the end stand for hex color ink set. Hex meaning six, so there are six inks. What's great about Epson's new Dysa printer, the 6470, is you can pick the inks in addition to CMYK. And as of this video, there's three different options. Light cyan, light magenta, orange and violet, and then a fluorescent option with pink, with pink and yellow. 
Now at one point, Epson had an SE and PE option in their F63 series. But that has changed with the newer models. In the older models, the SE stood for Standard Edition and did not include a take-up system. Epson did have a PE version, which was called the Production Edition. And can you guess what it had? Yep, a take-up reel system for unattended printing. Again, the current lineup of DTG and DISUB, so that's F-Series fabric, these products are only available in one variation. So the SE, PE, even a WE, they don't mean anything other than carrying over from prior generation products. All right, we've covered a lot. If you've made it this far, great job. Now, did I miss anything? Do you still have questions? Put your thoughts, put your questions in the comments below and we'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, even better, share it with your friends. Thanks and we'll see you next time. Thank you.